Hey guys, it's me, Takani, and today we are recapping Winter House Season 3, Episode 1. Lover boys, city girls, and yachties, oh my! Let's meet the cast from Winter House Season 3 before we dive into the recap. From Below Deck Med, we have Malia and Katie. And then from Below Deck Sailing Yacht, we have Alex. From Summer House, we have Kyle, Amanda, and Danielle. And from Martha's Vineyard, which is a branch of Summer's House, we have Jordan. From Winter House, which is kind of a spinoff from Summer House, we have Corey. From Family Karma, we have Brian. From Vanderpump Rules, we have Shorts. And then we have Casey, who's not really from anything, apparently. She's just here. This season, they're staying in a 10,000 square foot mansion in Steamboat Springs. And according to Zillow, it's only 30000 a month to rent it. But the kitchen is absolutely insane, and it has two dishwashers. What kind of rich people sh** is that? After everyone arrives to the house, they discuss that Tom Schwartz will be arriving the next day. And then they talk a little bit about the Sandoval affair. For those of you that are unaware, I'm looking at you, Katie. Tom Sandoval and Ariana Maddox are from Vanderpump Rules. They were in a long-term 10-year relationship. They even bought a house together. Unfortunately, Sandoval got caught having an affair with Raquel, another castmate from Vanderpump Rules, and a best friend of Ariana. Before they filmed Winter House, the news broke and the whole world found out about the affair, which a lot of people called Scandoval. At the time of filming at Winter House, they haven't recorded Vanderpump Rules reunion yet, which they'll be recording mid-season, so Schwartz will leave to record that and then come back. But the whole Scandoval thing, that's a story for a Vanderpump Rules recap. Everybody's in the house, and they're drinking and having a blast. Alex makes a toast to condoms and snakes, two things he doesn't mess with. I can relate to the snakes things. They're kind of creepy. I mean, I do have a uh, articulated snake behind me, though. <laughs> Let me show you guys. This is my boy. He's a snake. An articulated snake that I printed on my 3D printer. How cool is that? It's very loud to mess with, though. But isn't that awesome? So exciting. I love this thing. I just think it's cool and it's fun to play with. But anyway, let's get back into the recap. Everybody goes and picks their room. And Alex is stuck in the double bedroom without a bathroom. So he tells Jordan, I'm going to use your bathroom sometimes, but don't worry. I'll only use it to brush my teeth because everything else I do outside. What do you mean by that? You poop outside? That would be awful, especially in the snow. <laughs> they have a fuzzy hat party and eat barbecue. Then Malia asks what everybody's relationship status is. Well, Kyle's married to Amanda, so that takes him off the market. And everybody else is single, except for maybe kind of Corey. I don't know. He's very vague about it. He tells everyone he's in a situationship, and there's no labels. Brian talks about his friendship with Alex and how they have the same type of woman. Anybody. Except Alex is looking for fun. He wants a friends with benefits situation. He wants to play the rolling in the sack. And Brian wants something more serious. He's looking for love. Brian attempts to flirt with Malia by saying that she's like an ogre. She has so many layers. You know, like Shrek. Meanwhile, Alex and Jordan are hanging out in the hot tub. And Alex goes in for this iconically awkward, slow, kiss, which Jordan rejects. After Jordan rejects him, she decides that she's going to go to bed. And as she's going to bed, she walks past Brian, who reaches out and tries to kiss her, despite not even talking to her at all that day. She was like, oh, no, no. And he was like, oh, too much? She's like, yeah. And then she just felt like she was in like the twilight zone. Why are all these men trying to kiss me? <laughs> After last night's party, things got a little messy, but luckily the house has yachties on board. Malia wakes up super early and she just cleans the whole kitchen. Then everyone else wakes up at 9 a.m. Casey and Brian are vibing and making TikToks this morning. And the house prepares to go tubing. And Jordan tells everyone about the two awkward kisses from last night. While tubing, Corey is flirting with Malia, which will be a common thing throughout the season. And Alex attempts to flirt with Danielle. But she shoots him down and tells him to stick to one woman. He's like, what do you mean? And she's like, you tried to kiss Jordan last night. And he feigns ignorance and says he doesn't remember that. Convenient. Thank you guys for joining me on this recap today. What did you think about the awkward hot tub kiss? Did you cringe as hard as I did? And do you believe Alex really forgot about it? Or do you think he's just saying that? Let me know in the comments below. 
and don't forget to subscribe and like the video if you enjoyed the content. I'll be seeing you next video. Bye guys!